Hey guys. So, we're going to actually do something with this pour I did a bit ago. This is one of the metallic pours. And I thought it kind of looked like Northern Lights. So we're going to do that. So in this cup uh, is some white mixed with some more water. We're just watering it down. And we're going to use this just to splatter a bit. So we can have some stars. I'm going to splatter some extra in some sections. And some just few. I'm totally splattering things that I don't want to be splattering. All right, fantastic. I think this is probably good. And then we're going to take, yes, I am going to be covering up some of this, but that's okay. We're gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna add basically kind of like a mountain range into here a bit. We're just keeping this really simple, guys. It could definitely be more detailed with lighting and everything like that, but I want this to be something that other people could easily do if they wanted to. So. All right, now we've got our kind of simple mountain range here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this fan brush and we're going to make some trees. And I kind of tend to do this Bob Ross style. So we make a line and then you kind of just use the corner of this. You know what, I don't like this fan brush. I'm going to use a different brush. Let's see, this one shall do. Okay. Yep, and you literally just have to dab it. And we're going to add in, you can add in as many trees as you want. Okay, and a little more black paint down here. I'm just using this as my palette, <laughs> which normally I'd have like a plate for paint or whatnot, but I'm using the bottom here as my palette. really just add in as many as you like. Some littler ones, some bigger ones. Here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to zoom in so you can maybe see this a little bit better. Okay. There we go. So you're literally just going to make a quick line. And this is like if you're doing like a forest of trees. And then you just go across like this. Um, a fan brush normally works well, uh, well with this. For whatever reason, my fan brush wasn't cooperating. I think it's just the wrong size for the trees that I wanted to make on here. You could also start out with just making a bunch of lines if you wanted. Because we're doing a ton of trees here. And I did want this, I do want this video to be quick. So we're gonna kind of speed paint a little. The cool thing with these trees is they really don't have to be exact. Kind of no matter how you do it, they come out looking pretty darn good. And doing it this way, by the way, leaves you want to leave a little space in between because trees aren't completely solid.
And you can obviously change the height as much as you want. With trees, I always start small and then you can get bigger because my motto is you can make it bigger, you cannot make it smaller. So it's better to start out too small than too big. And obviously find the size of brush that works for you. Have these trees come up a little bit more because they're on the side of a mountain here. Okay. I'm gonna zoom back out. Okay, I'm gonna add just a couple bit, couple more here, and then we're gonna end off. And you know, like I said, you can go further into this with adding some lighting to the trees or, you know, some different colors, whatever you want for the purposes of this. I'm just going to keep it simple. Do a black. I'm going to flatten this out again. And there you have it. We have our Northern Lights painting, which I know the green in this painting just really reminded me of Northern Lights. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.